I would like to share with you the most important thing in my life. I'm 88 years old, so I've lived a lot of years, and the most important thing in my life happened when I was in my 30s. I was married, had two children, and I had been a churchgoer, had been going to church all my life. My father had taken me to church. My mother didn't take me to church. My father took me to church, me and my two siblings. And he was the choir director and the senior class teacher. And we got to church every Sunday morning. My mother would get us ready and then he would take us. And so I never missed church or Sunday school, but I didn't, I learned all about Jesus but I never knew that I could know Jesus. I didn't know I could have a relationship with him. And then when I was in my 30s, I went to this church and I heard the message, I heard the gospel for the first time in my life. I heard that I could have a relationship with Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross to save me from my sins and I knew I was a sinner, and I had been stumbling through life, trying to, trying to find out what life was all about. But then I learned what life was all about, that it was to have this relationship with Jesus. I had put my hope in many things, but they all would fail. At that time, when I learned that I could have that relationship with Jesus Christ, I got, uh, I was friends with a group of women and we got together and we grew together. We would read the Bible together. We were learning to pray together. It was a wonderful, wonderful thing that we were doing together, learning together, growing together. And we all had little children and we'd meet once a week and bring our little children and and do the Bible study together. And it was a wonderful, wonderful time. And during that time of growing with these women, growing in the Lord, it was such a blessing. And those became relationships for many years. And I, through all of that, we all learned that we couldn't put our hope in people but we found the one we could put our hope in was Jesus Christ. And he says in his word, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's true, that is what he is. And we can count on all of his word, it is, it is truth. And my desire for all of you that I'm speaking to now, my one desire is that all of you could come to know him as your Lord and Savior. And you'll have no regrets if you make that decision. Thank you for listening to me.